So this is a BBC uh, Master 128K power supply. Uh, I'm going to be recapping this now. Uh, it's a similar process to recapping the um, BBC model A and B power supply, uh, like I did in the previous video. Uh, it's just a slightly different construction. It's the same capacitors that we're replacing. Um, I've already partially disassembled this, so to give you an idea where we're up to at the moment, um, you need to unscrew these two screws here. Uh, and these four screws here and remove the split grommet from here. Uh, these are quite fiddly but quite easy to get out. Um, they look a bit like this. Uh, they're split into two parts so you can see you can put it around the wire and then close it to make the grommet. So the way that I usually do this is get a screwdriver under the split bit and just pop it out. So next we need to remove this connector. So I'll just pop that into the case in pretty much the same way that we did with the uh, Model B power supply. So we've got four times that we're going to pop in here and there. So that's pushed in now, not to push it all in in all the way. And now we should be able to lift this PCB clear. And you just gotta take care there's a board here and I find that certainly on this one there's a couple of uh, components that are poking up and might catch on this connector. I think it's a transistor. So just take a little bit of care when you're pulling this board out. That's it. Here it goes. Oh. That's coming so far. There we go. Let's push that cable in there. Let's see whether we uh, get access to this without removing the mains cable. What I may do is, uh, just to give myself a little bit more access, just push these wires through the hole. So let's see if we can do that without breaking anything. Up to one side, still keeping it all connected. Right, I think that's good to go. Pull the whole lot through. There we go. Get it out of the way. So next, it's identifying the capacitors that need replacing. Um, let's have a look. That one. That's C9. And uh, that fella there. So you've got the two reefers and C9. We'll just do a quick continuity test on the uh, fuse. Fuse is good. It's time to uh, warm up the desolder gun. Okay, let's desolder. Soldering that and that. I think those two are the reefers. Nice hot solder gun. 390 degrees. I've got my fingers uh, gripping the, the uh, capacitor from underneath so I can uh, pull it out. So the first thing to do. Is all gonna
Pins bent a bit. And I was going to, okay. Let's try this one now. Hmm. A bit tricky in the bead power supply of this. I think that's got it. Pins are bent. I was just trying to work out where they are. So that's how I got this one then. I need to. Done what I did last time and unsold the wrong thing. That looks like the right component. One leg out. Oh, I'm gonna say, yeah, let's see what's going on there. Just a lot of solder on. I think it's this fella here. I've got to get all this solder off here. There's a lot of solder on. Just desoldered. That's. Uh, I don't know. They before desoldered the wrong thing, haven't they? It's definitely this pin here. So that's joining with that component, and that's the component leg I need to get out. Let's cool down a bit. Sold the station up a little bit. You will come out. There we go. One down. So this is the uh, 100 nano farad uh, X2. Slightly different construction to the ones I took out of the BBC model P power supply, but the same principle. Uh, doesn't look in too bad condition, but let's change it anyway. Let's get the other one out now then. So where's that? Should be a bit easier. So the other one, uh, another big solder blob we'll probably have to take out is here and here. Let's get desoldering. Again, I'll try and do this as simply as possible. Leads are bent again. It's a bit of a pain. Might need a bigger nozzle on the desolder gun. 
Bon. That was a bit easier. Not quite falling out like the ones on the beep power supply, but not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see if this will come out now. A bit of encouragement. Maybe. I think one side's free. Uh, needs a little bit more desoldering, perhaps. Let's get a bit of heat on this. There's one pin. Let's just bent this one. I wouldn't damage my diesel with the gun. Let's bend this pin out. Oh, I think it just did itself. So that's the. Uh, have a quick look at this one. That's the point naught one uh, microfarad. Again, that doesn't look like it's in too bad a nick. Point naught one, and then we just got to get a C nine out, which is oh, this is going to be fun. I'm just going to pause the video a minute while I locate it. Okay, we're back now. I'm hazarding a guess that it's this one and this one we need to desolder. So let's have a crack at that. We will wait to find out. One. Let's see if that comes out then. Yeah, that's definitely the right one. That pin. Sold it now then by mistake. Pretty sure that was it. Yeah, I've got movement on that pin. Not so much that pin. It's definitely the right one. I'm pretty sure it's the right one. Look at that. Jobs are good and fantastic. Right. Okay, ready for soldering now. Um, the electrolytic on this C9, there's a dot here which marks the positive terminal of the capacitor. So I'm going to pop this in like so. 
have a flip this, we'll just go in. Alrighty. There we go. Let's bend the lead slightly. That's fine. And the electrolytics in. So we just need to get the X2s in. First we'll fit C1. That's the uh, 10 narrow farad part. See that? So C1 goes. C1 go in here. There we go. Turn it around so the label was a bit clearer. That seems to go in quite nicely. I've been the lead slightly. And C2 is the 100 nanofarad part. So that goes in there like so. Oh, it's a bit bent on this. Look at that perfect fit. Fantastic. So we've got those two in. So next, it's time to solder. So let's flip the board over again. Cables out of the way. Cables everywhere. <laughs> and I am going to do what I normally do which is snip leads first so just leave a little bit there Or a sold first kind of guy. Right, I'm going to snip first because it does make creating a good joint a lot easier. Solder flows around the pin a lot better. So there we go. Next, solder. Let's make sure everything's out of the way. And I'll plug my solder in and get that up to temperature, and we will get these soldered in. Um, the soldering iron is nice and hot now. Let's get these components soldered back in. So we'll start off with these pins over here. One, two. Plenty of solder on that one. Two. And resolder this fella here. That's one solder. Three. And I've got the C9. It's down here. One. Two. And finally, the last reefer. No, where was that? That was over here. And two. And done. Let's clean the soldering iron. Yeah. Always a good idea to retin it before you put it away. Waste a little bit of solder, but hey, solder's cheap. 
So the final stage will be to quickly assemble this and test. So I'll start off by just pushing the wires through the grommet. Uh, I'll loosely fit the lid, I'll plug this in and then we'll see uh, whether or not we get the correct voltages out of it. Final stage is to assemble and then test. So let's get these screws in. One in already, two. That's assembled. Now to test. Okay. Trusty multimeter. Oh. First thing I'm going to do is a ground check. So I'm going to take the mains power, just do a quick continuity check to make sure that the this lovely metal case is earthed to mains earth, and that is fine. Be for success. Now it's to check the voltages. So, make sure the power supply's off. Plug it in. Get the multimeter out. Um, as before, it's set to uh, the 20 volt DC range. And let's start testing. So we've got three 5 volt lines to test and a uh, minus 5 volts. So let's test the first one. And there. Oh, helps if you switch it on. There we go. Schoolboy error. That's looking pretty good. Let's double check the second one. And again. Let's just triple check the last one. So ground in there, positive in there, 5 volts. And then let's test the purple minus 5 volt line. So we're going to do that by picking one of the grounds and sticking the positive in there. And that's minus 5 volts. Bobby Dazzler, jobs are good. Right, right. jobs are good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to my channel and pop over to my blog, breakintoprogram.co.uk. I'll see you soon.